The spell checker in SimWriter allows students to take their time when checking and doesn't automatically move on to the next word as soon as something is selected. I'll make some errors in this sentence that I've started. You can see that the spelling errors are marked with a, a pink box around the words. The spelling checker button is the ABC one with a tick by it. And you can see it's moved to the first error in the document, highlighted it, and on the right here it shows the suggested spellings, each illustrated with a symbol. And this immediately helps any student see which of these suggestions is the one that they mean. They can see that this is the image of a shirt here, so that they know that's the one they want to choose. Having decided to try it, you can hear the sound of that word to double check. Shirt. You can go and try the new word in place. If in fact that wasn't what you wanted, you can revert to the original word, put it back again, so you can put it in the sentence, see it, decide whether that's what you actually want. If need be, you can hear the whole sentence. And only when you're happy that that really is the word, do you need to go to the next mistake. So we'll try that again, and then click on go to the next mistake. Here, trousers comes up as the second choice. So, again, you've got the symbol to help you choose. Again, if you selected that, you could hear it and you could hear what it said. Browsers. Which is not correct. So we can go to trousers now. Try that new word in place. And then we've finished. We've got the whole thing done. Uh, and we can close the speller. So in that way, we can correct interactively, word by word, taking our time as we do so. There are other spelling features which allow you to set up words and their correct spelling. The words might be words that the spell checker itself finds really rather difficult. So I'll make a new document now and say Tom was naughty at school. Now naughty here is spelt as it's pronounced. If we go to the spell checker, it certainly doesn't come up with that. In fact, it doesn't come up with it at all. So it can't use that complete misspelling, which is just phonetic, to find the correct word. But we can deal with that problem. I'll close the speller. We can go here to the yellow ABC book here. And this enables us to add spelling suggestions to words that the spell checker itself finds difficult. And this is particularly useful if you've got dialect pronunciations where children spell incorrectly because of the dialect. So here I can type naughty as the wrong word, and then I can type it correctly here. And I can add that to my list so that naughty will now produce the correct spelling as a suggestion. Mother, which is quite a common misspelling of mother, is there that you can see that above it. So we're done now. So now if I go to the spell checker, we immediately at the top of our list have naughty there and we can choose that. We can see what it means. Hear it again. Naughty. Try it in place and then we can go to the next mistake. Sometimes children, to quit, quit the spell check before I can alter the document, sometimes children may accidentally add a new word incorrectly to the spelling dictionary. So suppose I type again I packed a shirt and we go to the spell checker. Suppose the student is absolutely convinced that that is the correct spelling of shirt 
and he decides that I don't want to mark it as a mistake. I'm going to tell the spell checker to learn that new word. So you click on learn new word there. Are you sure you want to add the word should? Okay. Well, let's suppose we say yes. Okay. So an incorrect spelling has been added to the dictionary. We can put that right very easily. The blue ABC book here gives me access to our custom dictionary. We can see what words have been added there. So occasionally it might be a good idea to check that this has not been misused. Click on shirt. Delete it. Close. And now shirt again is marked as an error. This learn new word is quite useful, particularly if you have individual names, which the spell checker might not understand. You can learn those new names or learn particular unusual words so that they're not marked as an error. So you have the facilities in the spell checker interactively to work with each word before you decide to move to the next mistake. It can learn new words, but you can easily delete them if they're put in on error. And you do have the opportunity with the dialog box here for entering unusual misspellings and actually correcting what they should be.